Hello and welcome to Newsbreak. I'm your host, Alex Snyder. Coming up, SEC Wrestling, but first, today's top stories. Eastern Iowa experiences snowy weather blast resulting in a spike in accidents according to county call service logs. The records from Henry, Jefferson, and Washington counties on December 28th showed at least 15 incidents related to weather conditions and car accidents. The emergencies concentrated in the early afternoon after the snowfall prompted warnings from various government agencies on social media to drive slower and exercise caution. Washington County Chief Deputy Sean Ellington highlighted the typical pattern of increased accidents during the initial snowfall events of each winter, emphasizing the need for adjusted driving habits. At their final meeting of the year, the Mount Pleasant City Council approved plans for a concrete plant after earlier setbacks. Chad Ebling proposed for rezoning eight acres of land from A1 Agricultural to L1 Industrial gained approval for a concrete readiness plant west of Hickory Avenue. The City Council endorsed the site plan for the plant in Lot 1 and the new H. Eugene Smith Industrial Subdivision. Additionally, a zone change from M1 to M2 for a vacant land at the 2000-2200 block of West Washington Street was unanimously approved, allowing industrial processes and outside storage. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll take a look at your weather. At the Capper Auto Group, we put our customers' needs first and understand that everyone is as different as the vehicle they select. We offer new Ford, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram vehicles in a friendly environment that puts you in the driver's seat. When it comes to service, we maintain factory trained technicians and competitive pricing. The Capper Auto Group still believes that service after the sale provides the best customer experience. Come see the Capper experience for yourself. You know, it's not a question of what all you have and so on with your life. It's who is in your life and how much you care for them and how much they care for you. And Tammy definitely cares. Federation Bank is a locally owned bank providing award-winning customer service. We believe that we are more than just a federation of banks, but a federation of communities serving Brighton, Richland, Wellman, and Washington, Iowa. Federation Bank's highly skilled staff is here to make sure you are able to accomplish your personal and professional goals, whatever they may be. Federation Bank, your family bank. I met Tammy about 20 years ago with when her daughter was in Special Olympics and I was coaching, told me that she was into doing senior benefits. We became even closer friends. She cares about everybody, especially the seniors. So call Hello her. and welcome back to Newsbreak. Coming up your five-day forecast, but first, obituaries. Stuart L. Kinney of Mount Pleasant passed away on December 28th at the age of 81. Nancy Nan A. Stark of Washington passed away on December 28th at the age of 87. Earlene Zeta Book of Cedar Rapids passed away on December 25th at the age of 85. That was your obituaries. Now it's time for your five-day forecast. Today, kicking off the forecast, Friday promises decreasing clouds with a high of 39 degrees. Moving on to Saturday, anticipate partly cloudy skies with a high of 37 degrees. As we bid farewell of the year, Sunday might bring a slight chance of snow showers. Expect a high of 34 degrees. Welcoming into the new year with mostly sunny conditions, Monday we'll see a high of 34. Wrapping up the forecast, Tuesday is expected to be partly cloudy with a high of 38 degrees. We're going to take another quick break. When we come back, we'll take a look at your sport. In the heart of rural Iowa, where community matters most, the connections we make are made to last. Meet KCTC, your hometown internet, phone, and TV provider. At KCTC, we're not just about technology, we're about people. Our dedicated team are your neighbors, committed to bringing you top-tier services right where you live. We believe in giving back to the community that raised us. Experience the power of a real connection with KCTC. Join us in building a stronger, more connected Southeast Iowa.
family owned and operated by Andy and Sarah Ross. Ross Auto has been your vehicle repair and maintenance headquarters since 1935. We specialize in all makes of cars and light duty trucks. With our variety of available services, let us help you keep rolling and your vehicle operating efficiently. Services include general auto repair, alignments, brakes, fuel injection, and more. Schedule your appointment today at 319-653-5656. That's Welcome back to Newsbreak. I'm your host Alex Snyder. It's now time for your sports. In SEC wrestling, the Washington team has an early advantage as one of the two unbeaten schools in league play. Washington started the conference season with a 42-28 win over Fairfield and followed up with a dominant 78-6 victory against Keokuk. The only other undefeated team is Fort Madison, the defending conference champions, who secured a 66-18 win over Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant and Fairfield each have a win, with Mount Pleasant defeating Keokuk 49-24 and Fairfield narrowly winning 41-39 against Burlington. Burlington and Fort Madison have only participated in one conference duel each. That is your news of Southeast Iowa. I've been your host Alex Snyder. This has been your news break and I will see you next time.